Hi everyone, this is my Wednesday night Facebook Live. So I'm just going to find you over on my business page. So let me just do that. Let me see if I can find that. Hang on a tick. <clears throat> just bear with me while I do that. I always like to find that I've gone live in the right place. <laughs> because we don't want to be in the wrong place. So let me just find it. Yes, I think I have found myself. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> okay, so I hope everyone's well and that you're having a good week so far this week. Um, for those of you who took Monday off and had a long week, extra long weekend because of Anzac Day, I hope you enjoyed those few extra days off. Um... Yeah, so say hello if you're watching. So tonight I'm going to play with um, uh, one of the retiring stamp sets called Simply Succulents and the dyes that go with it. <coughs> and I've got my water here in case I need a sip. I still seem to struggle with my voice, <coughs> my throat. Um, so yeah, we're going to play with the Simply Succulent Stamp Set and Dies, and a really fun way of colouring them in. Hi Lynn, how are you? <laughs> nice to see you here tonight. Um, so, I shall flip over to my craft desk, and we can get started. So let me just do that. <clears throat> okay, there is a bit of a delay when I do that but it should happen <laughs> there we go okay so I've got my bits and pieces that I want to use here and I want to just show you in the catalog what we're using so let me just so this is the stamp set here <coughs> and it's I've had this one for a few years now and I used it quite a bit and it is on I checked the um, inventory status report and it's not um, gone <clears throat> and it is 60% off so this stamp set which is on page <coughs> oh look there goes my throat again which is on page 32 in the annual catalogue it's normally $39 and it's 60% off. Now, unless I can't do maths, which <laughs> has been the case in some on some occasions, that brings this stamp set down to $15.60. It's a cling red rubber one. So that is an absolute bargain. <clears throat> down to $15.60. The coordinating dies that are in the annual catalogue um, we're on page 173 and they're here the potted succulents they're normally $68 and they are also 60% off so you get quite a lot of dies in this bundle so you get all of these ones and you get this big um, detailed one as well now that brings the die, these dies down to $27.20 which is quite a lot quite amazing <clears throat> I didn't realize how heavily reduced they were and when I chose to, to use them tonight and there you go so for let me see 35 no 37 plus so 42 dollars you get a bundle that's incredible so we're also going to play with the <clears throat> brick and mortar embossing folder we're not play we're going to use it there we go, it's on page 176, up the top it's 10% off, so it comes down to $15.75. So the stamp set and dies are, the, are a great bundle um, and gr greatly discounted. <clears throat> so I'll pop that away. And these discounts don't go until next Monday, the 1st of May midnight on the 1st of May and you won't be able to get the retiring products any longer because the new annual catalogue goes live on the 2nd of May so 
thought I'd just show you a few cards that I'm, <clears throat> I've been going through um, all my cards. I have so many cards. I've really got to get get them out, <laughs> get them somewhere. Um, so I've been pulling out all the cards that I've got that I haven't sort of dealt with and um, finding all the ones that are retired products so I can get rid of them hopefully and get them out. So these are a few I made a while ago using the potted succulent, no, simply succulent stamp set and dies. Um, this is when we had that, <coughs> I think it was called Good Taste Designer Series paper. It was a really thick paper pack and it was great because it was all like bricks and um, wood grain and stuff like that. So it was really good. So there's a couple of, a few cards I made back then. I think I actually did them as a class. So I thought I'd recreate one similar to this. And then <clears throat> I can show you how I coloured it in. Now, you, it is a good set to get your blends out and colour away. And you can certainly do that. But I thought I'd show you um, a really interesting technique on how you can colour. And it, succulents do tend to be a bit pale and blotchy sometimes. Um, so this is a really cool technique that shows that off. So let's get our bits and pieces in and get rid of some other things. I'm also going to use my favourite go-to greetings for the, the sentiment. Okay, so let's put that one over there. <coughs> And I've got my A5 card base. I'm just going to use basic white for my card base. I'll just give that a good score. And I've got a piece, I've got two of these little dies for the sentiment. I don't know why I've cut two out, but there's a spare. Um, <clears throat> I've got a piece of crumb cake as the a matting piece so it's 10 centimeters by 14.3 or 14.4 and I've just got a spare piece of white basic white cardstock um, that I'm going to stamp on so let's do our stamping first and then we'll bring the cut emboss machine in and we can do whatever else we need so I do have my big block ready <clears throat> so I want to do that one and I want to do this little teeny one. And I also want to do the pot. So, and I'm going to stamp them in um, black memento. So, we will just ink up a stamp. <coughs> so, I've been busy trying to re. Well, not reorganized, but get my craft room into some sort of, <laughs> um, I don't know, some sort of organized state of affairs. That's what I've been trying to do. <laughs> and I've also been making up a lot of the kits and going through my kit collection um, because I am going to be doing, hopefully doing craft markets and I want to focus on the kits and make sure I've got quite a few samples all completed so people can see what the kits are all about. <clears throat> so that's our big succulent stamped. And just put this back in here. And let's do the little one as well. And I'll put that up here. And we also want to, here it is. <coughs> we also want to um, stamp the pot. I've actually got succulents in my courtyard. I have gone down the succulent path um, because they're really hard to kill. <laughs> and I figured that's a good thing. 
Now I'm going to put this one down here and you'll understand why. Actually, I don't think I like that didn't stamp very well. So let me do another one. That's a little bit better. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I do have quite a few succulents in pots and hanging baskets and stuff in my courtyard. So... And they, they have the most unusual flowers. When they do flower, they have really unusual flowers. Okay. <clears throat> so, she will get rid of that. Now, I have lots of ink colours here. I don't think we need the basic black, the black memento anymore. So, I have the retiring soft succulent because I figured you cannot use the simply succulent stamp sets stamp set without using soft succulent so I've got that <clears throat> and I've got the soft sea foam now what we're going to use is a piece of this um tape that I used to mask with in another video earlier in the week <clears throat> but you can use um painter's tape or just good old masking tape so what we're going to do and this is the way we're going to color um, and I might get a scrap actually <clears throat> to put underneath because I do tend to stamp off a little bit when I'm doing this technique okay so we've got the soft sea foam and the soft suck soft succulent that's really hard to say <laughs> and we've got our bit of tape so all we're going to do is we're going to push our tape let me bring that down into the camera we're going to put our tape into our ink pad, pad and you can see that it's inked up on the tape now this is a really clever way of applying ink to an image And you can put them put it anywhere and it is a bit uh, random and a bit blotchy but that's okay okay so I'll put that to one side and I will go to my soft succulent now this even though soft succulents not a very strong color it does actually come out quite strong when you are doing it like this so I'm just going to stamp it off a little bit And this is just a really fun and interesting way to put colour on stamped um, projects. I might go back to my soft sea foam and get a few more, a bit more of that colour happening. I know it looks like a hot mess at the moment, but trust me, it does get better. <laughs> I know you're probably very much doubting that at the moment. I think that's probably enough. Let me just make sure all our little edges are covered. Because when we die cut, we don't want any bits on the edges not covered okay so I'm going to get rid of that piece and close up these ink pads and I'm going to get another piece of tape and I'm going to <coughs> get a pumpkin pie and Cajun craze my pumpkin pie is looking a bit sad. I think I might have to order a new one. But not at the moment. <laughs> There's been too many other ink colours I've had to order. Okay. So this is for the terracotta pot. Now, yes, my pumpkin pie is very sad. Now, I'll go into the Cajun craze, which is quite dramatic so I'm stamping it off 
as I transfer the color. You're probably thinking, this looks terrible. What is she doing? <laughs> but trust me, it does actually come together quite nicely. I'm just going to do a little bit more pumpkin pie. I know, you're probably thinking, oh my God, what is she doing? <laughs> okay, so I'll get rid of these two. Pumpkin pies now are bright. And I'll get rid of soft sea foam. I'll keep myself succulent. <clears throat> okay, so let's get rid of this. And we'll bring our cut emboss machine in. I'll put my card base over here. Okay, let me do that. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss with the brick and mortar embossing folder. <coughs> And if I can remember where I put it, I buried it amongst all these things over here. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, so this is a 3D embossing folder, and this is the one that's 10% off. So I'm just putting it in my, that's not the way I want it to go. I don't want it to go that way. <laughs> I'm just putting it in my folder. I want the bricks to go we're doing a portrait card so I'm putting it in that way so that the bricks are right always put your spine first into the uh, cut emboss machine and this is the number four platform or plate for the 3d embossing folders <coughs> okay so that's a um, embossed piece of crumb cake so we'll put that to one side for the moment <coughs> now we'll push this back through <coughs> and we'll get a hot mess looking um, <laughs> piece of cardstock <laughs> that's not really a hot mess it, trust me it's not looks like it at the moment and we'll get the die <clears throat> that we're going to um, and I've got my little skinny tape just to cover up um stick it down sorry we've got a pot now all these dies do fit through the mini cut emboss machine but because I've got all these ones I thought I'd do them all in one go so I'll just stick that one down and then there's this tinksy tinksy flower <coughs> is that that one that is that one and where is my other little piece of tape Okay, so I'll just make sure that's lined up. Hopefully I've got all that right. And we can just run this all through in one go. Okay, so let's get rid of our cut emboss machine. probably thinking this is an absolute mess <laughs> and I'd, I'd let you think that leave that pot there's one of our little succulents and here's our big succulent get our tape off 
now if you wanted to you could go over any coloring in that you wanted to with your blends you certainly could but can you see how that has actually colored the succulents and it looks quite well it looks quite good um even though it's blotchy it actually has come up quite well and looks very much like succulents in my pots out the, in the garden um, this is our terracotta pot that's I don't know about your terracotta pots but sometimes my terracotta pots look a little bit like this but if you wanted to fix it up a little bit you certainly could go over that with your blends and make it not as blotchy and that's our little teeny tiny one okay now the other thing I'm going to do with my brick wall I'm going to get my blending brush <clears throat> and the retiring soft suede And I'm just going to grunge up our brick wall a little bit. Just put a little bit of dirt on it. Because not everybody's brick wall is clean. <laughs> Maybe a bit too much grunge down the bottom there. So let's put a little bit more grunge up the top. There we go. So I've used retired colours, ret well not retired, retiring colours, retiring stamp set and dies and embossing folder. So let's put this onto our card base. And it's just a fun way of colouring in some stamp sets. Some stamp sets are, are overwhelming with how much colouring is required. And if you don't want to do all that time-consuming colouring with your blends, let me bring this one back in. Um, this is just a fun way of doing it. And it, it can look quite good. Okay, so let's get our pot. I can't pick it up. Come on, up you come. Okay, so we might put this over this side a bit tonight. So I'm just using my Tombow to put my pot down. And I might put it up a little fraction. Oh, you know what? I was going to put some twine around this, but I forgot. Not to worry. <laughs> This one will be twineless. <laughs> okay, we'll get rid of that. And we'll get some dimensionals for the back of our succulents. So yes, I've been putting some kits together and <clears throat> trying to um, get things organised for for the markets if I'm accepted to doing it. So I had to get public liability insurance, which I've done. And that's why I've been going through all my cards, sorting out all my cards and trying to get them all sorted. Now, I'm just going to put it like so. Because you know how succulents can grow, go off at an angle and go quite out of control. <laughs> and you know how, well I know with mine, every now and then I'll walk past and I'll see it's dropped a little succulent into another pot. And I'm thinking, well how did that happen? <laughs> it just has dropped off. And yeah, there you have it. <laughs> so if you wanted to, you certainly could. Get your mint, um, not mint macaron, soft sea foam and soft succulent. If you wanted to even out your colours, you could. This one's got more colour than this one did. I quite like this. I'm not going to use my pens. So, and I'm using one of the, the banner dies from the set of dies. It's got all these different 
banner dies or dies and that one wasn't it I'm just trying to where did I put the other cut oh there they are <laughs> there we go that's one of the dies really nice die and I used it again on that one so really nice dies 60% off <laughs> I always got to say 60% off okay so I'm gonna get my happy birthday out of here because I think this could be a masculine card as well as a um, a female card I don't see why it should have to be a female card but it could be um, and I'm going to use my soft succulent ink succulent ink that's really hard to say and I'm just going to ink up and I brought it down low so I can't I'm less inclined to bring my head into the picture so let's have a go and see that's not too bad <coughs> so I'll grab my oopsie looks like you're the only one still with me Lynn <laughs> other people have been jumping on and jumping off but it's just you and me you and me babe <laughs> thank you for supporting me and always jumping on i appreciate it okay so i'm just going to use some little dimensionals and put that on my banner these are from kits that's why i've got little funny funny ones on my desk at the moment okay so put our happy birthday over to the left I think or should we put it over to the right seeing no we're going to do it over to the left because that's just torn the cardstock so that's okay is that straight I think it is <laughs> Let's, let's see when I put it down again. Yes, I think it's straight. Okay, so let's see what bling we've got. And we might use some brushed metallic dots. Or oh, what are these ones? Rustic dots. They sound good. Whoops. The rustic dot sounds just what we need okay so with my pick tool i'm gonna grab oops oh <laughs> i am going to grab it if i can cooperate okay and i might put that one there and another one up here okay the third one's the one i struggle with I might put it up here okay so that's a rustic dots and I believe they're carrying over let me double check so I'm not telling a fib this is the old catalog so I'm allowed to show that <laughs> okay rustic yep it looks like they're carrying rustic metallic adhesive back dots that's what they are they're carrying over and so are the brushed metallic dots so they're really good if you do want to put bling on your um, masculine cards they're really good um so that's that and on the inside we may just stamp a little succulent so we'll get that out and we'll get our soft succulent ink i believe all the ink colors have gone but for the purpose of tonight's card i had to use some soft succulent okay let's grab a shimmy so 
there we have it there's our card um let me just find you back over here yeah so that's our card and i hope you enjoyed that and an interesting way of coloring in coloring with um either painter's tape masking tape or repositional tape um that's an interesting way of coloring in your um stamps that require a lot of coloring so i hope you enjoyed that and i shall be back with another facebook live let's go back to here i'll be back on friday afternoon um for my card and a cup of facebook live um, but have a great rest of the week. Have a nice night and I'll see you on Friday afternoon. Bye for now.